Hi, in this video you will learn about ROS to publisher, subscribers and topic using Turtles in package. We'll explain how publisher and subscribers are connected using topic. Then we'll explore some topic related commands. Then using RQT we'll monitor and publish some messages. And finally we'll explain about some important facts about publisher, subscriber and topic. So here on the right hand side you can find the ROS2 commands which we will use in the video. If you already know ROS1 then on the left hand side you can find the corresponding ROS1 commands. As the name suggests the publisher publishes the data and the subscriber subscribes it. Here the most important thing is topic. The publisher will continuously publish the data with certain frequency on some topic let's say ABC topic and the subscriber who subscribed this topic ABC will receive the data. Let's do practical. Open the terminator. Here I will split the screen into some parts. Next. Uh, we'll run turtle sim node executable so just type ros2 run then the package name turtle sim and executable name turtle sim node now i will just uh, minimize it next here just type ros2 node then hyphen h so we'll go for the help Here, uh, in the commands, you can observe we have this info commands and list commands available. So let's try this list command. Just type ROS2 node list. Press enter. And here you can find that we have one node available which is TurtleSim. Now, uh, we'll try this info command so we'll go for the help so just type ROS2 node info then hyphen h here in the usage you, you can see we have to type ROS2 node info then node name node name here is turtle sim so just type ROS2 node info and then copy this turtle sim and paste it here Now here you will get more information regarding this node, so regarding this turtle sim node, like this subscri subscriber, this publisher, then service servers. Here the most important topic is turtle ones, CMD well. So which is of type geometry messages, message twist. Now in another terminal type ROS2 interface proto and then this message type geometry message message twist so here you can find the prototype of this message we'll just copy this message copy this default message and paste it in the text editor and just minimize it then here type ROS2 topic hyphen H. So in the usage you can see we have to type ROS2 topic and then we have various commands like uh, BW, delay, echo, find, hz, info. Uh, we'll try this pub command. So it will publish a message on the topic. We we'll just type ROS2 topic then pub. We will go for the help. And here you, you can observe in the usage we have to type ROS2 topic pub then the topic name, message type and then its value. Also there are optional parameter like hyphen one. Like in the optional parameter 
you can observe that we can use hyphen r for pub, uh, for defining the rate of publishing so this time we'll use just hyphen 1 which will publish the data only once then topic name here we'll use this topic name top turtle 1 cmd well and then the message type so which is geometry message message twist so as you can see here message type so just type g e and uh, then double press double tab and then the value so this is the message prototype and we'll change the value we'll change the linear x value and angular z value to 2 and just copy it and we'll keep this turtle sim always on top and paste it here now you can find that our turtle moved once because we published uh, this message once we can or we can also publish this message in a continuous uh, rate with a continuous rate we just have to change that hyphen one with hyphen r so we'll change this hyphen one to hyphen r and then uh, type one so this is the frequency of publishing one hertz so now you can see that now we are continuously publishing the data on the on this topic so you can find it here in optional argument how to use this command next uh, we'll run turtle teleop key executable so just type ros2 run turtle sim turtle teleop key executable then we'll type ros2 node list just press enter and now you can observe that now we have two nodes uh, running this turtle teleop teleop turtle and similarly we'll uh, go for the inf information about this topic so just type ros2 node info and then this node name and here you can find that uh, the number of subscriber publisher service servers which are present uh, for in this node here you can observe this topic uh, turtle one cmd well which is in the publisher section of this node and we found the same topic which is in the subscriber section of the turtle sim node so tur uh, tally of turtle is publishing on this topic and turtle sim is subscribing and that's how uh, the turtle is moving here now we'll try this list command so just type ros2 topic list so here also you can find the list of all the topics present if we type hyphen t after this command then we will get the message type so next uh, we'll try this echo command which will output messages from the topic so earlier we published on the topic this time we will uh, just monitor the message from a topic just type ros2 topic echo and then the topic name and just press enter and here you can see uh, there's no message be uh, because actually we are not moving the turtle here uh, just keep the turtle sim gi here and when we press the arrow key now you can you can observe that now it's displaying the messages because we are moving the turtle we are publishing on the topic so just minimize it i will close it next we'll try this uh, info command which will print the information about the topic 
so instead of uh, echo we'll just type info and then the topic name just press double tap and here you can get more information about this topic like its a uh, message type then number of publishers so we have one publisher and then number of subscriber which we are already uh, seeing like we have one publisher which is tell your turtle and one subscriber next we'll try this turtle one post topic so just uh, we'll pub uh, will monitor the message published on this topic so will echo it here you can see it's continuously publishing some data some x y theta uh, data so what is this data actually it's the uh, absolute position of the turtle so when you move the turtle to the bottom left portion you can find that the x y values are becoming zero so this uh, this data is absolute position of the turtle x y theta and also we have linear uh, velocity and angular velocity so when you move the turtle this angular velocity and linear velocity will have some value next type ros2 topic and then hz hertz this command will print the average publishing rate So just minimize it. Average publishing rate. Just type H Z, and then the topic name, Turtle One, or uh, Pose. And here you can observe that the average rate of rate of publishing is sixty two, somewhere sixty two. So it's publishing sixty two messages in a second. Next, uh, we'll open the RQT. Yeah, I will just close it and start from the beginning. So go to the plugins, then uh, introspection and node graph. So here, you will get uh, the idea like how these nodes are connected. If you click on the active nodes. here you can observe some more details we uh, you can observe the turtle one cmd well and we'll just click on this hide sync and leaf topic and we'll refresh it here you can observe that the uh, we have this topic turtle one post uh which is published by the turtle sim but not subscribed by any topic any no Here we have Turtle One CMD well, which is published by Teleop Turtle and subscribed by Turtle Sim Node. And this uh, Turtle One post is not subscribed subscribed by any of the node, so that's why it's the uh, leaf topic. Now go to the plugins, then topic, and topic monitor. here click on the turtle one post and select this and now you can observe the hertz 62 which and xy and theta values which we have already uh, seen using the commands next uh, we'll try this message publisher so here you can publish the message the same way we published using command line so we'll just select uh, turtle one cmd well and frequency we set it one click on plus now uh we need to change this uh, linear x and angular linear x value and angular z value so just change this uh, linear x value to 2 and 
the angular z value to 2. And then click here. And now you can find our turtle is moving in a circle because we are continuously publishing uh, on the turtle one cmd well topic with certain frequent with frequency uh, now here is an important thing that many uh, that there can be many publisher publishing on the same topic similarly there can be many subscribers subscribing to the same topic which you can observe in this animation that one publisher is publishing on a topic and two subscribers are subscribing it also the publisher doesn't know anything about subscriber and subscriber doesn't know anything about the publisher they are just connected with each other using topics and the data is only going one way mostly we use publisher and subscriber model when we have to continuously broadcast messages for example we may have to uh, broadcast the joint states value of a robot Uh, in this example, you can observe that there are two publishers and there are two subscribers. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like this video and learn something new. If you like this video, please give us like and subscribe to our channel and keep learning.